For some games, just getting through the level is enough. But with the Devil May Cry series, you're gonna wanna aim for that glorious S rank, because that's what the game is all about. That broken sexy style! To that end, here are some tips on how to get that style rank up and get those triple S ranks. First off, here are some universal tips that apply to all characters. Avoid getting hit. I mean, obviously, but your style rank will go down immensely whenever you take a hit. So knowing how to avoid taking damage is extremely important if you want those triple S ranks. Devil May Cry is a little weird in the way that the best way to avoid taking hits is almost always by jumping as opposed to rolling. The startup of your jump has invulnerability frames, so make sure to make use of them whenever you get a chance. Buy enemy step ASAP, as Nero and Dante. Enemy Step is the most useful upgrade when it comes to increasing your style rank because it gives you the ability to use jump cancels. A jump cancel is when you cancel the animation of your attack by jumping off an enemy with Enemy Step. Basically, this allows you to keep Nero and Dante in the air almost infinitely by jump canceling before the final hit of your air combo, which would normally knock the enemy away. Next up, Taunt! Taunts are great for increasing your style ranks without actually doing any damage. Always look to start and end your combos with a taunt, and even throw in some air taunts in there as well. Keep an eye on your style meter whenever you taunt, because once it goes up, you can cancel out of the taunt with a jump, since it won't go up anymore after that initial bump. Mix it up! You need to vary up your offense if you want to have a chance of getting a triple S ring. You won't get very far in the style ranks if you just use the same combos over and over. Use your various ground combos, air combos, devil breakers, switch up your weapons as Dante, and make use of Shadow and Griffin's entire repertoire of moves. Now for some character specific tips, as Nero, use your devil breakers. Your devil breakers will often be the key to getting triple S ranks with Nero. Make sure to always be on the lookout for how you can incorporate your devil breaker into your combo. With Overture, use it to punctuate quick 2 to 3 hit combos. With Gerbera, the best way to keep an air combo going is by bouncing them backwards. With Punchline, know that it will stay out longer when you have a higher style rank, allowing you to effectively lock an enemy down. Overall, just be creative! Use the Exceed mechanic. The most important thing to know as Nero when it comes to increasing your style rank is that if you've purchased the Exceed skill, you can instantly charge your Red Queen by pressing the left trigger just as your sword hits. Get used to this timing and try to remember to always attempt to charge your sword with every swing. Charge attacks do more damage, gain more style, and also add new properties to moves like Streak, Caliber, High Roller, Split, and more. All of which are techniques that you should buy. And finally, make sure to use the Air Taunt. Nero's Air Taunt keeps him in the air while also bumping up his style rating a fair bit. Combine Air Taunts with his Grapple to stay in the air and pull enemies towards you. Switching over to Dante, jump cancels are even more important. Dante relies even more on jump cancels than Nero because without him, he has a very hard time staying in the air. An easy way to stay airborne is to equip the Rebellion slash Sparta and the Swordmaster Stance, and after two hits of the Aerial Rave, do a jump cancel, two hits, jump cancel, two hits, jump cancel, wash, rinse, and repeat. Also, know what styles are good for what. Swordmaster is the go-to style when you're really looking to amp up that style rank with its nearly limitless toolset of moves and abilities. However, Royal Guard gives a lot of style points when you're able to perfectly parry attacks and build up that Royal Guard meter. Then you can use Release to send all that sword damage back. Trickster is great for mobility, but won't build much style on its own. Use Trickster to close the distance with techniques like Air Trick, and then switch to Swordmaster to keep up the aggression and build the style meter faster. Gunslinger is essentially the same as Swordmaster, but with guns. If you want to amp up your style meter with this style, you're going to have to spend some orbs to build up your repertoire of moves. That being said, once you have those moves set, Gunslinger is ideal for building up your style at a distance. Next up, switch up your weapons! Dante is a Swiss army knight in terms of his arsenal of weapons, so just make sure to switch them up if you notice that your style meter is dropping or not building as fast as you think it should be. And finally, here are some tips for V. First up, use your Devil Trigger meter. Holding the left trigger while pressing X or Y will cause Shadow and Griffin to attack autonomously. The AI actually does an amazing job of doing heavy damage, allowing you to focus on dodging, building your style meter by taunting, or reading a book to build your Devil Trigger meter. Make sure to chain multiple kills together. You get more style points if you're able to chain kills together, so try to get multiple enemies ready for the kill before you start teleporting in and stabbing enemies with your cane. 
And finally, know when to use Nightmare. When there are a bunch of enemies, summoning Nightmare is generally the way to go to build up style and lay waste to your enemies. But when you're fighting a very few tough enemies, it's better to spend your Devil Trigger meter by having Shadow and Griffin attack autonomously. Hopefully these tips make it a bit easier for you to collect those coveted Triple S ranks. If they did, if they did, give us an S by dropping a like on this video. Thanks for watching, and for more Devil May Cry, make sure to check out my review along with the first minutes of the game. And for everything else, keep it here on IGN.